Hello, welcome once again to Stuff and Things, where I like to talk about stuffs and occasionally even things. I'm your good friend Bradley, and today it is time for another First Impressions video. We're going to be trying out a new pipe tobacco blend, and since it went so well last time, I enjoyed it so much, I thought we'd try another John Cotton's blend. This time, double pressed, Virginia. Now, as with the last version that we had, the double pressed Latakia, that was actually blended by Russ Willett, produced by Sutliff, and it's supposed to be a recreation of a traditional John Cotton's blend. These blends, I never had the original John Cotton's blends. I think they went off the market in the 80s at some point. Someone can correct me if I'm wrong, but they were, uh, I guess, originally produced in Scotland. This is a modern recreation, trying to capture the spirit of these blends. As far as I know, see, I haven't been able to tell whether or not any of these John Cotton's blends are entirely brand new, or if every single one is based on a previously existing John's Cotton's, John Cotton's blend. Uh, I'm gonna have to do a little bit more research before I do the final review of this one. I wanna see if there was an original Double Press Virginia. But suffice to say, it's a John Cotton's blend. It should be good, because I really enjoyed John Cotton's Double Pressed Latakia. It is produced, as I mentioned, by Sutliff, blended by Russ Willett. And let's just crack this baby open. As far as I know, it's just a straight Virginia. As per usual, when I do a first impressions video, I try not to look up too much information about the blend, because I want to go in fresh. I don't want to sully my opinion with someone else's thoughts. So we've cracked this baby open. Once again, we have this sort of plasticized, papery thing here. I got two of them. Bonus. And inside we have a nice big brownie. This is a crumble cake blend. Last time with John Cotton's Double Press Latakia, I noticed that it, it rubbed out really easily, didn't have any issue with that. Kind of hard to tell when you have the cake like this, whether or not the moisture content is good. It seems just a little on the dry side, just like Double Press Latakia was, but that smoked just fine. So let me take a whiff here. I'm rather stuffed up. The allergies have been bad recently, but we're going to try. Ooh, ah, la 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 la. <laughs> I don't know what that sound was. Ooh, yeah. Um, I'm liking that smell. That smells like a really nice Virginia blend. My voice got really gravelly when I said Virginia blend, but uh, I'm anticipating something quite good here. Ooh, there's almost a chocolatey, uh, as the appearance would suggest, kind of brownie-like scent to it, but you get this really good kind of uh, sweet, bright Virginia flavor or aroma. Very grassy. It's like moldering hay. Dropping stuff. Ooh. I think I might be in for a treat here. This actually smells amazing. Um, let me see how well this rubs out. I'm just going to try to knock a chunk off here. Take this corner. Eh. Hmm. It's not as crumbly, I would have to say, as Double Press Latakia. Interesting. Whoa, okay, it's gonna go all over the place. Uh, but actually it crumbles up fairly easily. I think that this blend, and again, I'll confirm all this before the final review, which should be in about two weeks probably from when you're watching this. Like the John Cotton's Double Pressed Latakia, I believe that this was formed into a plug. There you can see it rubbed out, rubs out quite nicely. Um, they form it into a, or a flake, they chop it up, rub it out, let the flavors marry for a while, let it air out, and then they press it into the crumble cake after a couple weeks. So ideally, or I guess ostensibly, that should really mellow the flavors. Some people find straight Virginia blends a little harsh. Sometimes they find them a little cigarette-y. Um, I love straight Virginia blends. I think they're fantastic. But... I'm wondering if, because of the way this blend is produced, if that will actually kind of mellow out the Virginia flavor a little bit and some of the harshness that you can get from Virginias. I'm expecting this to be a pretty cool, pretty mellow smoke. 
but we shall see. I'm going to have to rub out a little bit more and then we'll load the pipe and we'll come back when it's finally time to taste it. All right, gang, we have John Cotton's Double Pressed Virginia. Ugh. Nicely loaded into my 1962 Dunhill Shell Briar. Beautiful pipe. Let's take our first light. Taking the flame fairly easily. Mm -hmm. Tamp this down a little bit. I did not get a mouthful of tobacco this time, which is a rarity for me on these videos. One more try. All right, getting some nice clouds of billowing smoke. And I think that is gonna give us our nice little disc of ash or of charred tobacco. And this should be the final true light. All right, let us taste. Okay, something very similar as to what happened with John Cotton's Double Press Latakia is happening with the Double Press Virginia. As I first light this and I'm first trying to taste what is in this blend, I'm not getting a lot of flavor. And that's the same thing that happened with the Double Press Latakia. I didn't notice much flavor at first. I'm wondering if this will also be like Double Press Latakia in that as I get down through the bowl a little more, it opens up and I do start tasting more. We're going to have to see. Right now, I'm not tasting much. It's kind of a, a lot of hot air right now. All right, gang, now we're starting to cook a little bit here. The flavor is definitely mellow for a straight Virginia, but it's definitely there. I am finally, or not finally, I am now tasting the things that I would expect to taste from a straight Virginia blend like this. And it's pretty tasty. I'm getting, with a blend that is, you know, pressed into a flake, rubbed out, and then pressed into a crumble cake, I'm expecting a more matured Virginia flavor something that isn't super high, super bright, super, super uh, citrusy or like freshly cut grass. And that is exactly what I'm getting here. Or I'm not getting the thing that I wasn't expecting to get. I'm getting the matured Virginia flavor, the bready, yeasty kind of Virginia, the darker Virginia flavor, even though I think these were kind of sweet, bright Virginias initially when they were put into this blend. It's just not super strong. It's not super full flavor. If I had to compare it to any other blend right now, hold on, let me take one more puff, make sure that what I think I'm tasting, I actually am. <clears throat> yeah, it's been a while, but this reminds me a lot of Gawith, Full Virginia Flake, except just a slightly less full flavored version of Gawith Full Virginia Flake. And I love Gawith Full Virginia Flake. And Gawith Full Virginia Flake is very hard to get. So this could be something. The John Cotton's Double Press Virginia. This really could be something. I think so. I'm getting a lot of what I like. I'm getting a bit of sweetness, not too much. I don't like a Virginia blend that too sweet. I get that nice kind of matured Virginia flavor. I do usually prefer the more yeasty bakery style Virginia flavor to the really, to me, the taste that seems very fresh and new and bright grassy Virginia flavor. A little tinge of citrusness, citrusness, citrusiness to this blend as well. But yeah, if I had to pick an analog, I would say Ga with Full Virginia Flake, except like I said, just a kind of a mellower version. It's too early to tell whether or not this blend could be harsh to some people. There are some people I know who just, they smoke a Virginia blend and they just don't like it. They just think it's too harsh, too cigarette-like. I don't know that I detect much of that in this yet, but I'm gonna have to smoke it in different pipes for a good amount of time to figure that out. But I think I'm liking this. I think I'm pretty impressed with these John Cotton's blends by Russ Willett so far. And this is no exception. I can't wait to keep trying this to, uh, ugh, I mean, Last time I smoked the entire tin of the Double Press Latakia 
pretty much by the time I did the review. So I'm sure this will probably be the same situation here with the Virginia. I'm liking it. I'm really liking it. So tune in in maybe two weeks time for the full review of John Cotton's Double Pressed Virginia. Thank you so much for watching this first impressions video. Until next time, until we meet again, I've been a good friend, Bradley. You've been the audience. This has been Stuff and Things. I'll see you later. Mmm. Yes. Oh, hello. Do you like videos about pipes and or pipe tobacco and other fun subjects like that? Well, YouTube doesn't. In fact, they dislike those kinds of videos so much that they don't let us monetize them because they consider them unsuitable for most advertisers. But if you do, please consider supporting us on patreon.com slash stuffandthingsshow. Link in the description box below. It would be much appreciated and it would go towards helping us create more content like this.